Hello everyone, this is Prashant Chaudhary. I welcome you all to my channel Classic Power App. In this video, we'll be discussing about the problems that would be generated when your system is showing the delegation error. Delegation. This type of error warnings actually comes when you when the function you have written over any incident or over any control is not healthy, is unhealthy. At a time, a yellow type of a triangle box appears and it shows that this function might not work on the large data set. So sometimes you might solve that issue, but does it mean that the system won't show delegation error? In this video, I'm just showing you how I have removed the delegation error, how I've removed the warning symbol from my function and still my system was showing the delegation problems. Okay, so let me just take you to my screen. So here you can see I have four lists in a sequence. First list, second, third, and fourth. All lists are linked to one another. In a, in a single sequence, let the item has one to n relationship with the category. Category has one to n relationship with the criteria. And criteria has one to n relationship with the sub criteria list. Okay, so here we can see that on the third one, we have the delegation issue okay and it shows that this yellow symbol if i hover on this it says the delegation warning this the highlighted formula might not work correctly on a large data set okay so in order to fix this sometimes you simply come to the settings and here we have in the general we have the data row limit for the delegations okay so if you simply increase row count to 2000 the maximum count you can enter is the 2000 only okay you fix this and you if you come back again and if you just try to check here you can see i'm getting the data okay although it is giving the delegation error is there but it is showing the data because I have increased the limit row limit of the delegation warning of this application. Okay, so let's make it as only 500 only as initially by default, this value is 500. Okay, so it means if your database has 500 records, then it would not give you any type of problem. But if your database has more than that limit, then definitely it will give you the problems. Okay, so majorly what we do we simply try to remove this delegation error how maximum times what we do we simply use one the column add columns add column okay actually this delegation error comes when there is a mismatching of the types or the arguments that are not of the appropriate type to what type of argument is written by the microsoft okay so i'm using one add column function and here, this is the category ID is actually a lookup, okay? And this category ID, cat category is a lookup of column, okay? In my criteria list. So what I need to do is, if I'm just adding one column and with this, let me just write this again, okay? Uh, let's just read this so that it would be easy you to understand make this comment okay now we need to add one column for this we write add columns and the database name is audit category criteria and here we need to pass the column name let's say one one and the value what value i'm just passing this column is I look up column but ID value so that I would get the numeric values in that particular column. Okay. Now I get this number as a numeric column. So now I can write the filter query. Now I can use this column as number to compare my data. And here I can simply select these things.
now if i close this i can see i don't have any delegation error warning here still there is no data coming it means although the system is not showing you the delegation warning doesn't mean that it, it would not give you the problem okay before whenever you go, whenever you guys get any type of delegation error please test it on a large data set i was delivering this project it was working fine for the small data but when i increased when i do the bulk testing that time i got to know about this problem that if delegation error is there if you try to resolve this if you try to remove the delegation warning it is not compulsory that those your system will work very fine it is not to be true okay guys so please be sure with this thing whenever you get the delegation error try to test it on a bulk data okay now how can i just confirm you that it is coming because of the delegation only if i come back again and increase this limit is row limit to 2000 again okay. 2000 and cross this it takes a little time to just reflect the changes see i will start getting the end data now okay so you can understand very well although i have in removed the delegation warning symbol from my formula still the problem is there okay so how you will do this what i have done here is i have added one numer and column which is having a numeric data type which is capturing the my lookup columns id values okay so that it would be the numeric in nature so how you can just remove how can you can just fix this type of problems from your system is you need to create the numeric type of data type or any numeric or any string type of data type at your back end if that num1 would be present at the back end at that time it would not give you any type of problem okay how i have done this i can show you i have created one column at the back end whose name was num1 let me just show you how it was working let just remove this thing now i don't need this num1 i need to remove the add columns as well okay now i've added one num category id this is actually the column that is also taking the category dot id values inside it okay but it is that column is present at my server side okay if i use this column Again, no delegation is there. Even if I try to decrease this limit to 500 again, okay, my system would work very fine. It won't give you any type of problems, okay? So that's how you can actually understand. Like, if delegation is there, doesn't mean if you try to uh, remove this delegation from the add columns function, doesn't mean that it would not give you any type of problem. It can give you. Don't forget to do the bulk testing on this type of things. Okay. One more thing to for you is like, if I add one column, let's say if I add one more function, let's say I, let's just add one label, and I need to just count the number of items in this list criteria list okay let's count count rows and what i'm doing i'm simply counting the number of rows written from this okay just come here Here you can see the complete function is giving me the delegation problem although the num function is num dot category num underscore category underscore id is the numeric data type column that is present at the backend still this count rows is giving me delegation error because this count rows is not delegable when it when the share point is the database okay because for this system i'm using uh, right now this that sharepoint is that is my database okay so what you can do for this type of stuff is like you need to first store this data okay what i'm doing is just storing this data into one collection of mine so let's just click on this and on the on set of property of this i'm just creating one collection clear collect 
clear collect let's make it as b a is my name of the collection call b a okay and i'm just passing this query here okay now inside this count i can pass my collection name what was that call b a okay now you can see i don't have any type of delegations now just try to see if i click on this shows me the values it starts showing the values okay so that's how you can actually remove this type of problems from your system okay don't forget i'm just telling you again and again because i have faced this type of problem you try to avoid this while you are showing your application to your client if your function is the showing the delegation error please whenever you try to remove this please do the bulk testing on that particular thing because sometimes the system won't show that this that this delegation warning but still it will give you the problem okay so don't forget this everyone so thank you for watching this video everyone if you have still have any query in the delegation error or delegation warnings please you can write you can contact me over my linkedin or to the comment section of this video okay thank you everyone thanks for watching this video